The Department of Social Welfare and Development has provided financial assistance to persons with disabilities across the country. Meanwhile, the Philippine Statistics Authority, or PSA, presented a data on the causes of death in the Philippines. This and more in tonight's National News Roundup by Charissa Espargo. Around 260,000 persons with disabilities or PWDs across the Philippines have received over 957 million pesos of benefits in 2023. From the Department of Social Welfare and Development or DSWD's Cash for Work Program, dubbed the Kapangyarihan at Kaunlaran sa Barangay Cash for Work Program or KKB CFW. CFW aims to provide short-term financial intervention to PWDs and their low-income or no-income households by giving temporary employment through community work or service. These include services such as communal gardening, tree planting, cleaning of public areas, coastal cleanup, and many more. The DSWD plans to continue prioritizing empowerment of communities and PWDs in the country this coming year. The DSWD Oplan Pag-abot program has launched the use of e-profiling for children and families in street situations. DSWD Assistant Secretary for E-Governance and Information Technology Concerns, Julius Gorospe, said that using a tablet-based profiling app is part of the agency's digital transformation efforts that aim to expedite the overall reach-out operations of Oplan Pag-abot teams. E-profiling also ensures real-time entry of details of profiled and interviewed clients into the Pag-Abot's database. The Philippine Statistics Authority, or PSA, recently released data over the causes of death in the Philippines from January to August of 2023. The top three causes of death in the country from January to August 2023 are ischemic heart diseases, neoplasms, and cerebrovascular diseases. 19.1% of the total deaths, or 76,901 cases, comprised of ischemic heart diseases. Neoplasms came in second with 42 and 149 deaths from 40,900 cases of cerebrovascular diseases. The Al Volcano in Batangas province emitted on Thursday, January 18, an alarming volume of sulfur dioxide or SO2, according to the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology or PhilVox. The eruption led to a total of 12,063 metric tons of SO2 released to the atmosphere over the past 24 hours and rose 900 meters high before drifting southwest the volcano. It is still under alert level one, which is a low level of unrest. No earthquake was recorded and local health officials have yet to issue a public advisory on the negative effects brought on by the high volume of toxic volcanic gas. Government officials still urge localities around the volcano to wear face masks, specifically the N95 variety, outside the house and practice safety precautions related to VOG. Shariza Espargo for The Nation.